that's kind of hard to do. So it's still you need to be somewhat of a dedication or rank to join. So um, moving on from that, if you guys are interested in special warfare, um, from the officer or major rank, depending on which one you go to, to transfer, you can transfer for both. Really, um, you can go into one of three divisions. I believe you can either go into the stealth, the ranger, or the fleet security, which are all the three minor. Um, divisions, subdivisions of the Special Warfare Group, um, and, you know, it, they're, they're all pretty stealth plans where you guys know what they are, you know, stealth deals with, you know, stealth and, you know, sneaky operations and fighting and shit like that. Um, the Rangers are involved in a lot of reconnaissance, aerial combat and range, um, and the fleet security deals with inner political matters and shit like that, making sure the plan is in working order, there's no internal conflict and all that good stuff. Um, and then from then on, uh, you will be moved into, if you pursue that kind of training, uh, if you have actually completed all of the subdivisions, including Stealth, Ranger, and Play Security, you can actually move into Special Operations itself um, to complete the line of Special Operations. And Special Operations are kind of like the ultimate um, unit of infantry in the whole entire fleet. Um, to, and, you know, those are like, you know, that do the extreme things. Those are the guys that are like the super brotherhood darkness kind of guys that you see around the community sometimes. There's a couple good spec ops groups out there. Um, and then, you know, that's the special operations from there. Um, I'm not too sure about the other divisions. All the other divisions from there are kind of higher up on the chain. Um, from there you have things like the ministry, which kind of void off from like fleet security and stuff like that. That's where you get things like the the council and the honor guard and things like that. Um, then you have the um, the zealot legion, which include things like the field uh, field masters that in, in, you know do the infantry, the ship masters, the fleet masters, and such like that. The high command of the uh, of the uh, infantry, stuff like that, and sometimes even other ministry things like that. I'm pretty sure there's some council ranks that are involved in the zealot legion, but I'm not too sure. I'll have to double check. Um, <laughs> And then, yeah, from there, it's all up in the high command. Um, then you get your high command ranks, starting from Imperial Admiral down to Supreme Commander, down to Fleet Master, Ship Master, and so on and so forth, and all that good stuff. Any questions so far? Uh, uh, are you going to stay still, continue to look like an idiot, move around your freaking chair? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking you guys to? Who you guys, uh, you guys can just talk. If you guys got a question, just make sure it's kind of in an orderly manner. Um, my question was, what, I know you talked, he, how he asked for, like, special officers, something like that. What would it take for anything related to heavy weapons or armor, like tanks? Because that is, all right, I, you um, can ask any of these guys, they'll vouch for me, I'm very good with armor. All right, here's, uh, here's what this is. This is um, what you want to do when planning for a career. Um, having a specialty in a weapon uh, and uh, or armor or whatever you want to do, weapon, vehicle, such on, is kind of like a secondary thing only if you're, unless you're, like, say, an officer. If you're going for just weapon or vehicle specialty, officer in the infantry would probably be for you. That's kind of, would be your goal. Um, there's no real high-ranking thing that deals with that. The only people that kind of deal with weapons and vehicle specialty are the special operations, and they deal with them as a whole. They have to have full mastery over all the aspects of the game, not just the ones that they are comfortable with. Um, the only people who actually have certain specialties that they're comfortable with are the officers in the infantry, or just regular infantrymen. Um, everything else is primary. Like, the infantry's main duty is, like, leadership. The more you progress in the infantry, the more you are, uh, more your leadership responsibilities. It's not as a, a much as skill as it is leadership. Um, it's only in the, like the special warfare division where certain skills are applied. Stealth is obviously for stealth things. Ranger is obviously for aerial and ranged and reconnaissance. And then the fleet security is for um, political matters and you know just being good at keeping things on a you know calm level within the fleet. Um, and then the special operations, which are the actual masters of the game kind of deal. They're the highest um, unit of infantry. They're just, you know, masters of everything. Special operations, they deal with everything. Can I answer your question, or...? Yeah, uh, that answers it. That okay. answers it. 
fucking video. Oh, no, yes, you can speak up. If not, I'm just gonna end this. Nope. Nope, nope. We good? Okay. Moving Game on from this cheesy ass map that I don't like. Actually, I love it, but I don't want to use it. <laughs> this map is so awesome.